Hello everyone, we are starting our road trip. It is now 1.40 p.m. I am in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and I will be driving to State College, which is where Penn State's main campus is. It should be like a two and a half, three hour drive. Um, I am packed. I checked in at the office. My company's really cool. They have cars, so I don't have to drive my own. Um, got something to wear overnight. Um, checked in with Mark. He's okay, so he'll be good until tomorrow night when I get back. Um, probably gonna take closer to three hours. I'm gonna stop a couple times along the way to have a cigarette and probably use the bathroom. Um, so anything comes up, I will check in with you guys again. Um, and we'll just see how this goes. Anything unexpected comes up, you guys will be the first to know. Okay. All right, everyone, we're taking a pit stop. I have driven for about an hour at this point. It is 2.36. I have no idea where I am. I'm on the right road, but um, the last time I looked at the GPS, it said, stay on this road for 99 miles. No. Um, I'm on I-80 West, so it's a major east-west artery st interstate. So um, the rigs are real. The tractor trailers are unbelievable. And it's a 70 mile an hour speed limit, which helps. So I'm going to go have a cigarette and use the bathroom and then get back on the road and we'll check in again. Bye. All right. So I had to put the glasses on because I'm squinting and my eyes are burning a little bit. According to the GPS, I should be there around 425 and it is 337. So this is the last stop I'll make probably before I get there. Um, it's been a relatively uneventful drive. I did stop at the rest stop before this and I didn't film. The only interesting thing that happened is that I was getting ogled by a couple truckers. Not in a sexual way, but in a uncomfortable way. Kind of a maybe we can coerce them into human trafficking sort of way. My perception, which is not always accurate. And other than that, I've been singing along to the song Sweet But Psycho because it's been on like four times. I don't know if you know. Ooh, she's sweet but a psycho. It's a good song. And it's almost impossible to breathe while singing it. So at any rate, I'm going to have another cigarette. And because I'm only about, I guess, 45 minutes away or so, um, I'll check in when I get there. Mm -hmm. Hello, everyone. I just got to my hotel room, and I haven't looked around yet, so we're going to explore this together. Now, I always start in the bathroom, so let's go take a look. All right. It's a nice little vanity. It's very bright. Let's see. They did the requisite folding of towels. I'm going to guess Matrix. It's a Wyndham. I'm staying at a Days Inn. Forget something? We truly care about your stay. We want your stay to be as comfortable as home. We have a variety of sundry items. Great. Oh good, I hate some of that spray. Hangers, which you can remove. I've been at places where they, you can't. Iron, ironing board. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be using that. Shower is swanky. I don't think it's marble, but it looks like it. This is the only challenge. That is a wonderfully adjusting shower head. Now let me get in the shower here. Okay. Do you see where my head is? Do you see where this is? I have to duck. But that's okay. That's all right, because very generous program is paying for the room. Did they fold the toilet paper? They did. Okay. I'm very easily impressed. I don't get out much. Now it's dark, like a hotel room's dark. So there's um, hotel art, it's a leaf. I have a double, so I have two beds that I can use. Um, I'll probably take this one because it's closest to the TV. They do have cable, they do have wireless here. Um, I have the little, you can't really see it, that's the tiny coffee pot. What else? Fridge, it's not bad. I don't see a microwave. Or did I? I don't. That's okay, too. Um, ice bucket. Please, please do not smoke. Fee charged for smoking. It's usually a couple hundred bucks. I don't have a couple hundred bucks. As it is, I have to text Mark because they wanted a credit card to hold it on, and I might have used his in case I've trashed the room. And this would be my view. That, I believe... I don't know, I'm in the middle of Penn State's campus. So there's some dorms, I think I saw a police station, 
and um, that's an alleyway. And that's it. That's the room. So I'll be staying here. It's about four. So it took me four thirty. Let me see. No, four forty-five. So it took me about three hours to get here. I parked, had my fun. I'm gonna give Mark a call, let him know I got here, and then change out of my itchy work clothes. Uh, maybe go for a walk. I'm kind of in the center of campus a little bit, so I'll go see what's what and find some food. Uh, I got a room on the first floor. It was first or fifth, and first I can literally walk 10 steps and go outside and have a smoke. And um, there's a subway right nearby too, so I don't have to go too far if I'm feeling lazy about food. And that's pretty much it. So thank you for joining me on my ride. I didn't take any footage of the rest stops because it's a freaking rest stop and there wasn't anything to see. So, um, Forgive me if there wasn't enough scenery. I did see some cows and some horses because I'm in central Pennsylvania, dead center of Pennsylvania. I'm in center county. There's a lot of thinking that in Pennsylvania there is Philadelphia and there is Pittsburgh on either end and everything in the middle is Alabama. That's a fair assessment depending who you ask. So at any rate, I am here in Alabama <laughs> and um, I will be doing this training and I will be uploading this video probably later this evening. Um, if I hear anything from Mark, I will let y'all know because I'll give this a minute before I put it up. But otherwise, this is it. This is my road trip and I will catch up with y'all soon. Bye.